Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're doing well. Today I am looking at the auctions as I always do, trying to buy stock. And those of you who follow me on Instagram may have seen last night that I spotted something quite cool, I think, at Aston Barclay that's going through today. And it's a 1984 Porsche 924. Now, probably sounds like a bit of a nightmare, but it has got a good bit of MOT on it. It's been resprayed. Yeah, it just seems like a really nice, tidy thing. Now, absolutely not my normal type of stock and absolutely not the type of stuff that I'm wanting to buy at the moment, really, because it's probably more headaches than it's worth. But I did think maybe it'd make a good raffle car for feel-good competitions um, and make a good video, wouldn't it, if I won it? So, yeah, I put it on there saying, why am I considering this? I'm an idiot, I hate myself, sort of thing. But uh, I am still tempted to bid on it. And as it turns out, one of my followers, nice lad named Hamilton, I keep meaning to meet up with him because he goes to Westbury Auctions as well, is there this morning. So he sent me a video of the car and it does look really good. I'm supposed to go and model with it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Joe, I thought I'd just send you a video because I know that you're obviously bidding online. Um, hey, looks really nice. I think it's really cool. So I thought I'd just do a little walk around for you, dude. I'm not going to be bidding on it, so she is all yours, mate. She's all yours. Really clean interior as well, bud. Really, really nice. So yeah, man, if the price is right, dude, go for it. Just while they had the bonnet up, mate, I thought I'd just get a quick little video for you. You don't really see them in that kind of condition very often. These will sell for up to about 10 grand. I've been looking on Auto Trader, and there's seven of them, 1984, uh, ranging from mileage. This one only says 8,000 miles, but I think it had an odometer change, and I think that was around about 28-ish thousand miles or something. So we're talking about 36,000 miles, so still very low. Um, really good service history. Just thought, yeah, it'd be good. So let's have a quick look at it. Um, yeah, it just looks cool. I mean, it wouldn't be cool if it was rusty and whatever, but the fact that it just looks really, really nice condition uh, is tempting me for sure. I did set a proxy bid of about two and a half grand on this. I think I'm, I think it's going to go for more. I can't tell whether people are going to be really scared of it and not bid anything, or if someone's yeah going to be as interested as I am. Because look how cool it is. Look at the seats. It's manual. It's just a very cool thing. So. Uh, we're gonna try and have a bit on it. Try not to go too crazy, but I did say to Hamilton, get himself on the screen for the live view. We'll see if we can see him and um, see if we can get it bought after all this hard work of checking it out for me. So I'll see you when it's going through the auction hall. Yes. What's it gonna start at? I reckon people are gonna be... Three starting. Go on, I'll do three one. Someone really wants it. Come on, we've got to get it. Hamilton, here he is. Check it out for us. Oh. Four, that's it. That's it. No. Ah, oh, dear. Okay. I tried. So we didn't get it. I think. I think it's still good value, someone will sell that, but it would sit around for a while and I haven't got an immediate use for it at Feel Good Competitions. Um, I went more than I wanted to already. Um, maybe if I was there, I would have fallen enough of it a little bit more. But uh, yeah, not to be this time, sadly, but thank you Hamilton for checking it out for me and sending me the information. Yeah, next time. I mean, there's rare kind of things like this don't come around too often, do they? Um, but would have been fun. I think that would have been a cool car. I've been tempted to keep it. But I have bought some other things today, or at least one anyway. Bought a Disco Sport so far, so it hasn't all been wasted time and energy, but that's it really. I wish we could have bought this and made it into a longer video and showing me driving it, etc. but sadly not. 
Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. You could be in a chance of winning a very nice Tag Heuer watch. Don't forget to check out feelgoodcompetitions.com where you could win all kinds of stuff, cars, watches, money, and it all helps out charity as well. And if you've got an interesting, especially a nice little 924 like that, then why not head to my car buying website, carsboughtformore.com. You can enter your information there. I'll give you a tailored quote. And yeah, I might be tempted to buy something like that. I mean, I'll probably get inundated with requests to buy classic cars now, and I don't want to become a classic car dealer, but maybe, maybe one of them, and maybe we'll see it on the channel. Who knows? Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time.